Do you remember that never felt before feeling you had after getting your first salary? All your plans of buying goods for your family, giving parties to your friends. Well, getting your first salary is a sense of empowerment, but it is the start of your financial freedom too. So you should take necessary steps to building a financial portfolio. Well, let's talk to some youth about what did they do with their first salaries. <laughs> What did you do with your first salary? What did I do with my first salary? Okay, so I bought gifts for my parents and my brother. I bought him an iPhone. I started SIP mutual fund. I bought some gold. I uh, gave it. Did a dinner to my mom and dad, parent. With my close friends and family, I spent it on my travel. I gave my first salary to my parents, to my mother and contributed some of to a temple. So you guys invested some part of it or did you just give it all to your parents? Of course, I invested. I was also studying at the same time. So I made sure that it goes into like equal parts of me, you know, paying my fees, uh, putting it for my travel. So I did a couple of things with that. First salary goes to parents only. I, I have not chosen anything like uh, done anything with that salary. Hmm. Later on, like we have gone to FDs, mutual funds uh, here and there. You have experience. So now, now what is your strategy of investing? Now, how much do you invest, Awesome. Uh, so investment is has been uh, bifurcated into mutual funds, FDs, equities, even uh, time insurance plans. I prefer to invest uh, twenty percent in mutual funds, and the rest I keep for myself. Like mutual funds seems like an option that I really want to try. Crypto is not something that I'm interested in. Yeah, I buy some stocks and mutual funds. It is split in mutual funds and FDs for rainy days. What do you think? Is FD better or mutual fund? Uh, anytime I will go for the mutual funds as uh, it assures you 12% percent returns. Mutual fund is better than FDs. Yeah, I prefer FDs because you, you know, you lock that amount and then you don't use it for those many years. According to me, as a finance student, I definitely believe that mutual funds are great. I do invest into mutual funds. Based on the current uh, uh, returns, what we are getting from FDs, compoundedly, if we'll say four five years, mutual funds may not be better than FD. As per you, like what was that one mistake that you guys made when you got your first salary? I didn't think so. I have made a mistake. I had a very late start in my career. Oh, so only if it it had been five years earlier, and it would have been even better. No idea, bro. I didn't invest it. My actual first job, job would say when I was like 20. So, you know, I wasn't too harsh at it that I don't have any regrets of, okay, I should have spent it separately. So many point of views, right? But what is the correct way? Well, we asked some experts about it and here's their take on it. After paying all my expenses and of course my life insurance, health insurance premium, I would capacitize for that. I would keep aside money for the risk and invest the rest of my savings into mutual fund. So the biggest financial learning, uh, if I were to look back uh, and uh, would like to see is, uh, you know, the power of compounding. I think that is something which we've learned over the last 18, 20 years. Your biggest friend um, in the long term is something called compounding and nobody can ever challenge or even come close to that friend. The first thing, uh, the first point that I would like to say is don't wait, start now because part of compounding has already started in your lives. Uh, in your 20s, you're going to be 30s, then you're going to be 40s. So start now. Second is you need to have these very, very diligent conversations with registered professional investment advisors who can actually help you understand what is a risk adjusted return, what is a risk product like a life insurance, what is an investment product like a mutual fund, how uh, one is to see the pros and cons vis-a-vis -vis fixed deposits, gold, real estate, mutual funds, all of that. And last but not the least is to please approach investments from the point of view of an investor and not as a speculator. There are no free lunches in this world, right? No one size fits all. Understand your own risk appetite. It is not your neighbor or your best friend's risk appetite. A lot of young, uh, uninitiative 
uh, uninitiated investors make in today's market is to go by past records right past records are never an indicator of future returns one needs to understand what is the underlying what is the portfolio composition how these kind of vehicles work what is the outlook in terms of the economy of the country and how need one needs to invest given one's own risk appetite time horizon all of that the liquidity keeping that in mind don't invest on your sick please do your own research don't go on what people are saying or what you're reading uh blatantly on advertisements please don't fall in any investment traps number 3 please ensure that you do not prematurely redeem your investments once you have decided to start investing i hope you like the video make sure to subscribe to the money control channel for more such informative videos